I'm at the point where it is time to permanently set the Sandhill Crane Eyes. They're glass eyes which have been custom fitted uh, by carving up and into the head and down below the lower edge of the eye ring and this facilitates my ability to slide the eye up and in and then drop it down for a perfect fit. Now what I do is instead of relying on wood fill to hold the eye in, you see that it has been custom fitted. So what I need to do is put a little bit of wood fill behind the eye so that it will never be able to tilt up and come out again. So this is a permanent set. I've done the same thing for both of these eyes. As you can see, this one also. is custom fitted. As close as the other. Again, the wood fill will be put into this upper edge of both of these eyes and that will permanently set them. The first eye I will do is the left eye and I'm using the wood fill that I always use. It's a PL fix, however it's no longer being made. I get some of the solids from down below this liquid part and I want to be really clean in putting the filler in. I don't want to touch the detail that I worked so hard on creating. So I'm going to just let that wood fill drop right off. and into the deep area of the hole. I like to keep this covered. I'm going to scrape off this excess. And also add that. Now as I said, I'm trying to work really clean so, a little bit of fill had gotten on there. I find that saliva actually repels this wood fill and it won't stick to it. So, I'm licking a Q-tip, a clean Q-tip, and I'm using that just to push this wood fill into the area that I need it to be in to make up the difference and pick up that gap. So, now you see I am taking the eye, sliding it in, and as you can see, oh, I'm going to use a toothpick, but you can see that a little bit of wood fill starts to squeeze out as I push this in the plan. I want to move it just far enough to drop it down. I'm wiping the excess off on a paper towel and so I have a handle to grab onto. I'm putting a little bit would fill right on the top of the eye. Now I'm blowing on this eye because I'd like to see it get down into the slot it's meant to be in. I'm wiping off any excess and I'm giving it a good push. 
because I know that it was fitted perfectly. Now I lick my toothpick and I'm removing any excess of wood fill. And I quickly am going to move to the other eye so that if there's any adjustments to be made, there's still a little play in the uh, wood fill to allow some movement for adjustment. I did a pretty good guess on the amount of wood fill I would need to fill in this hole. very careful not to get the wood fill on the outside detail. I don't want to put too much wood fill in because we are going to have it squeezing out if there's too much. So again with another clean Q-tip I'm cleaning up any excess that I touched on earlier when I put the wood fill in just to ensure a smooth insert. Here's my glass eye again sliding it in it down. You heard the snap. At least I did. And now I'm going to lick my toothpick to clean off the excess wood fill. And with that, these eyes have been permanently set because the wood fill will dry behind them and they will no longer be removable. Checking my symmetry from side to side, from above, from below. I'm very pleased. This bird is actually come to life. A little bit of cleanup. And we're done. And be sure and clean up any little telltale remnants of wood film. It's always more difficult to remove it after it's completely been dried. So, as you can see, I've been able to texture all the way to the inside of those eye rings and insert glass eyes with a custom fit. Because this is not going to be wood burned, all the texture has been achieved on it and it will be sealed with deft polyurethane and painted in acrylics. So that's my quick demonstration of permanently setting the eyes into my sandhill crane. Thanks for watching.